Hi, and welcome to this very simple tutorial on creating a bookshelf. Uh, what we're going to do is create a very simple bookshelf out of uh, some boxes. And um, this will be sort of step one in a two-part series that we put some doors on and we make that, that shelf into a china cabinet. Uh, so this is just the, the basics. I assume that you know a few of the buttons already, so let's get started. Um, in your perspective viewport, in the bottom right corner, go down to the uh, maximize toggle. You can also hit Alt W um, just so we get our perspective viewport nice and large. And um, before we start, we're going to go up to the top menu to customize and go to preferences. And under the general tab, go down to spinners and set your precision to zero, zero decimals. Um, this will just make things a little easier for us later on. Okay. Um, and click OK. Now, along the top menu, make sure that you turn on your spinner snap toggle. That's the little magnet with the up and down arrows. Uh, you can do this on any version of Macs, I think um, from version 1 all the way to, to number 12. So it doesn't really matter what version you're using. Um, but we just don't be fiddling around with decimals. We want some nice round numbers. Start off on your right-hand side. Go to the Create panel. Um, under Geometry, go to Standard Primitives and choose Box. Click on keyboard entry, and that's how we'll do this first one. And under length, let's change the length to 36, which means 36 inches, the width to 12 inches, and the height to one inch, and click create. It gives us a nice little uh, bookshelf at the beginning here, and so we'll name that, we'll call it shelf uh, one. That's good. Uh, all the other ones will be named uh, sequentially. Then go to your move tool. Select and move, and we're going to move things only on the z-axis, which is the blue handle. Hold down shift on your keyboard, and uh, you're going to move up on the z-axis only. And while you're doing that, you're going to look down here under this z-spinner, and we're going to go to, until it gets to number 14. And uh, that means it's going to be a, the next shelf is 14 inches above the first shelf. There we go. When you get there, we're going to go to instance and copies. Let's make three copies. Okay. There we go. Now we can do a zoom extends all. And uh, there we go. And we can look around, right? So this is these are our basic shelves. Um, it looks like I didn't make my shelf right. No, I have a height of zero. So luckily I made instances. Hit one and enter. And um, it doesn't want to go for me. Why does it want to go for me? We'll try that again. There we go, one. Okay, so we have uh, our nice thick shelves. Perfect. This is what you should have had in the first place. If you were screwed up like mine did, then we fixed it. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the front view. <coughs> now, if you just Alt-W, if you want, you can sort of reorganize yourself and, and look around. Do a zoom extents all so you can see exactly where you are. We're going to work in the front view. So you can right-click in the front view, Alt-W. Again, we're going to go to the Create panel and get a box. This time, we're not going to do keyboard entry. You could, but um, I'm just going to start in the upper left corner of this box and go down to the bottom right corner of that box and drag it out a little bit. Now, the way that it worked out here is my length was 43, which is which is fine. Width should be 12, all right, because we know that we made a, uh, our shelves 12 deep. That's great. And height 1. Fantastic. Um, once you've done that, let's just switch on the P key to the keyboard. Okay, and that switches this over to a perspective viewport. I'm going to zoom extents all, and I'm just going to look around at this. And uh, you can see that now your, your, sh your side shelf is sitting right in the middle of all of these. So I'm going to go to the Move tool, and on the Y axis, just sort of shift it over like that. And um, hold down Shift and grab the Y axis and go to the other side as well. I can make an instance of that and OK. Now, if you want, you can take a look in your left view and you can just see how it's looking. Looks pretty good so far. Just so you can see it, we'll uh, shade those. OK, and you can switch that to a perspective view. Look around. It's looking pretty good. Looks kind of like a bookcase. We just need our last um, back panel and then we're pretty much done. Um, in, that, in this case, it's going to be our left viewport. So hit the L key in your keyboard. Zoom extends all. Okay, so you can see it. We're going to do the same thing as we did a minute ago. Go to your box, go to the upper left corner, and just drag down to the bottom right corner. Give it a little bit of height. If you look over on the right-hand side, you want your height to be 1. That's good. Now here, my width is 35. 36 is, is sort of the optimum width, so I'm going to change that. And um, 
uh, I think my my heights were, were 43 before, so I'm going to change that to 43 as well. Um, that's not really a big deal because you just want it to look right. We're not making any architecturally perfect um, objects at this time. We're just making some really, really basic, uh, basic shapes. And so uh, we want everything to look good. They don't have to be perfect. Now, if you switch this to a perspective view, so again, that's P key on the keyboard. Okay, and zoom extends all and look around. You'll see that your, whoops, you'll see that your, um, your 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 back is sort of sitting in the middle of the shelf and we don't want that so i'll just uh switch this over just so you can see it and uh we'll wireframe that up again and now you can see this is where that line was made that box was made we're just going to take the move tool and move it on the x-axis right to the back okay and again we're we're more than anything else we're concerned with this looking good uh than than being absolutely perfect and uh oh, we don't need that we need that all right we're going to just arc around that you can see there is our fantastic bookcase okay uh now in the next tutorial that you'll that will be coming up soon we're going to make a couple doors and we'll make some legs and we'll sort of turn this plain jane bookcase into uh something a little more so hope you enjoyed that try it out uh, you should be able to make this in, oh, I don't know, uh, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. And um, if you can do that, then uh, all of a sudden you're starting to figure out all the different viewports and, uh, and how to create stuff. So good luck. Practice. Uh, see you later.